Hello and welcome to my channel with Art and Cooking. I'm Cynthia Maynard. Thank you for joining me. Today I have a fun little cute walrus. We were recently um, watching some documentaries uh, on, uh, I don't know what channel it was, but <laughs> uh, they had some different categories and one of them was sea life and it just got me thinking about all these cute creatures <laughs> that the Lord has made. So um, this is supposed to be a walrus and so I didn't film the beginning bit because I was just down there painting and I thought well I'm gonna switch on my camera and uh, get the rest of him in here so I heavily laid down a watercolor base so I did kind of a wet on wet technique and dropped in watercolor to kind of make him uh, different variations of browns and creams and oranges kind of was what I was going for there but then I felt like oh I want some more opacity and so I ended up using um, a quantity of art supplies <laughs> some uh, oil pastels some color pencils you can see my Lira watercolor uh, white there that I'm using to blend and uh, I was just trying to see what would work best for him and in the end it became predominantly watercolor and oil pastel with a little color pencil so I was just basically at this point layering and layering and as I get you know with painting you want to think backwards to front and the more closer you are to your uh, self <laughs> the more detail you want to get in there so we lay the foundation and um, and then we just build on that so he I wanted him to kind of have a cute speckled look and so I was doing that I'm bringing in my dark color pencil to give a little more definition and outline I guess shadow if you want to call it that to his tusks and I ended up making a cute pattern paper with him um, that I'm also going to use on spoon flower and raspberry creek fabrics and he was cute so cute at least I thought he was cute. I don't know. Everybody's different. But I think walruses are cute anyways. So uh, just trying to give him some outlined definition there. If you want to take this opportunity to like and subscribe, that would be great. And check out those links in the show more box below. That way you can get um, links to various products and my websites and things, all that good stuff. Um, now I'm coming in with like what's equivalent to Micron Pen and it's uh, like an archival ink that is won't smudge and just again trying to give some more opacity to some of these parts so they don't get lost with my Posca Pen here with the white and um, bringing out those tusks and some of those sort of spotty features. This is on a Strathmore watercolor um, visual journal. I like the paper on that and it has a nice texture to it and I think it does well with lots and lots and lots of media so um, <laughs> which is usually what I throw out my stuff <laughs> and um, like I said in the beginning he was heavily heavily watercolor and I was dropping in all sorts of things having fun with <laughs> all my paints nearby and now I'm just doing some touch-ups there so be curious to know what you've been drawing and painting thank you so much for joining me you can leave any comments down below don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you so much for joining me I hope you have a great day a peaceful day a creative day and see you later